okay what I want to do is make a really cool title and to do a cool title I have this just a strange image of this um, giant creepy crawly and maybe I want to put my little advert running along its back but first I better doctor this up a little um, video effects and color correction perhaps brightness and contrast and then I'll just take away this glare a little not the contrast, it's definitely the brightness. It would be nice if I could leave this little insect up there. Looks like I can only get away with so much correction, so it's just a light bit of correction. It's very light. Uh, you still want to see, we see, see, we still want to see this caterpillar thing. Caterpillar, this uh, millipede. Okay, now I have to make a title. File, new, title. And I have to write on top of, I could use, choose an orangey color, but I think I'll use white because there's white here so it will reflect well. So I choose T and then I write what I have to write. Video dash editing dash guru dot com. Then I have to click the select tool after. And when I click the select tool, I can click on this text and resize it. So I'll just resize it to somewhere where where it can uh, fit on top. Now if I put it too close, it makes it too apparent, and I've got to match it too carefully. So I'll put it here, and maybe I'll make it a little smaller. OK, so uh, a little higher. So it's going to be riding along the back. the centipede. Maybe I'll put it here. Oh, it looks like I have to put it right on top. So I'm going to match this line throughout my keyframes. So that's me ready. Maybe this is going to look better red. Let's just keep it like this right now. So in my project I have this title and <clears throat> I set it up so right in the middle it has this motion effect. Right in the middle it's right on top. So I'm going to remember that then I'm going to go backwards and anytime it doesn't look like it's on top I'm going to click this motion tab and readjust it every few frames or as soon as it's no longer on top so I've got to get this text to follow follow the caterpillar I keep calling it a caterpillar, but it's some millipede, awful, ugly one. Anyway, fortunately, didn't have to pay that one. You know, this is a good thing about this animal kingdom is, or the insects is, you just really don't have to pay them to to do the work. Okay, so let's just take a little look. Okay, <laughs> that looks really funny. Okay, I have to start to lose its direction here, so uh, I work back from the middle again, where we sometimes nice to work from the middle. Now, sometimes you've got to go through these keyframes, because it's saying at this point, see, this has come unmatched, I'm going to bring it back. Oh. At this point, I want to bring you on top, and, and look, at it goes a little angled, so it's about a one de degree rotation there. And these little rotations will give it a nice, just one degree ones, a feel. Okay, see how I've lost it again? So go back. And oh. And it goes up. More. And I just go through roughly. I mean, you could be much more precise about this and go through like every three frames or four frames. And I am just whizzing through this one, but hopefully we can ride this insect's back. Okay, so let's see what we got start to finish. Let me just save first, file, save.
looks alright. Um, you know, you need a lot more work. It's better if you have a still camera. You see, I was holding this camera and it was shaky. So if I had a fixed camera, that would be much better. But I think... I'm trying to leave this keyframe. See what happens. I think I've just got too many. Okay. Well, just to... At this point here, this is good. But I didn't like what happened here, so I had to delete these keyframes. Feels like the camera went up or something. And down. Oh. So let's try again. So I readjusted the keyframes and ah, uh, kind of followed. Might want to add some more special effects to that, but for the most part, this is following along the back of the caterpillar. Okay, this is Mark for uh, VideoEditingGuru.com. Hope you enjoyed that.